Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini. I'm using five cards from five decks. And the first card is the Divine Feminine Oracle card. And out for you came Quan Yin. And Quan Yin is the goddess of compassion. And she is saying, I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Who is she? We might ask. Well, Quan Yin represents the presence that listens deeply to our prayers spoken from the heart. Kuan Yin is an incarnation of Avalokitevara, the Bodhisattva of compassion. She is known as the goddess of mercy and is considered to be the most beloved Buddhist deity. Her name translates in Chinese as the one who perceives the cries of the world. She is often compared to the Virgin Mary in Christianity because she intercedes on behalf of those who call out to her with humility and sincerity. Scholars believe that a Buddhist monk Kumara Jiva was the first to refer to the female form of Kuan Yin in his Chinese translation of the Lotus Sutra in 406 CE. She is associated with the number 33 because she appears 33 times in this sacred text. The Lotus Sutra reveals that a mutra most often associated with Kuan Yin is the Yoni Mutra. Her cup tens symbolize the womb to remind us that we all enter this world through the female form. The Buddhist Saint Mia Shan is believed to have been an incarnation of Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin was originally worshipped as a male deity, but at some point during the northern Sung dynasty, around 960 to 1126, Kuan Yin began to be worshipped as a female. Miao Shan is believed to be the cause of this transformation. The legend of Mia Oshan contain beautiful accounts of her saving sailors from drowning in rough seas. Kuan Yin is associated with jade because of its protective properties. In this case, it is said to help with going underwater both literally and figuratively drowning in the ocean or in a flood of emotions. When your soul selects her card, Kuan Yin is about the deep medicine that comes simply from being willing to bear witness to someone else's pain. To really listen, we have to move from the ego to the soul so that the story we are listening to doesn't become about us or trigger us. This also applies to the moments when we are listening to the story that we tell ourselves about who we are. We are often far harsher and less forgiving to ourselves than we would ever be to someone else. Kuan Yin suggests that we listen simply with curiosity. 
Curiosity allows us to detach from needing to take the suffering of someone we love personally. Curiosity is a door that leads to compassion. It frees us from feeling as though we have to react to what we hear or defend and explain our part in their suffering. We can just perceive the pain that they are in. Or we can finally hear our own cries of despair and not seek to judge or justify them. We can just be present to what needs to be heard. Kuan Yin is the powerful energy of giving witness to our own or to someone else's suffering and often just a calm abiding presence of compassion is all that is needed to transform that suffering into clear light. So say this soul voice meditation, the pain or suffering I am listening to now with curiosity by recognizing the suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. And the Shaman Stream Oracle card that came out is Watchers. And the Watchers, they relate to serendipity, the, observe, the observer, the witness, and the transpersonal. When the watchers appear, it is an invitation to stop doing. So pause, get off the treadmill, and take a deep breath. Find the witness within, the one who can observe the fire and fury happening around you, but is not caught in any of the trauma. The time is right to step back. If you have a thought or an opinion, keep it to yourself. If you have a feeling that needs to be expressed, do it in the shower. Do not engage with the action happening around you and simply observe. Watchers, they show up to direct your attention to the horizon and away from the end hill in front of you. Others might think you are simply doing nothing, but let them know that you are helping the sun to set in the evening sky. There are bigger things to attend to. To have spent such a long time trying to correct the course of events and the actions of others, so let it be for a short while as you become the observer rather than the doer. The Watchers card invites you to break free from the linear causal pace of the petty day to day. Rise to divine coincidence, to serendipity, and notice how the act of seeing the heart of the matter produces results. Things happen without you doing anything. Creation unfolds in its own mysterious way, requiring only a sacred witness. And the Priestess of Light Oracle card is building your world. It's about creation, expansion, and networking. A Priestess of the Bees sits peacefully in the hollow of a tree, gathering the energy of the bees that fly around her and rest on her fingertips and third eye. She is surrounded by the honeycomb 
and though her vision is turned inward, her thoughts are focused on outer plans taking shape. The bee is one of the nature's most industrious creatures, and this card foretells a time of great productivity and expansion for you. So if you have been thinking about growing your business or creating an entirely new one, focus on those intentions now. Your dreams may also include composing music, writing, teaching, painting, cooking or baking, which are all projects that build on ideas and produce nectar for the body, mind and soul. They do require repeated attention and action, so take time to create a plan, set some goals and bring both the creative and technical elements together. The bee is also a symbol of fertility, so the expansion foretold here may relate to family matters. A child or children on the way, new in-laws through marriage or even reconnecting with distant friends or relatives are all ways that you may be expanding your personal network. On a practical level, this card could also indicate a career in architecture, design or construction. It could also signify connections with people who do such work. You may even be building a new house or expanding your present one. The bees join together to assemble their hive structure and provide for their community, increasing value for all. Now is the perfect time for you to build a world you desire and to make your plans and set them to work. Say this affirmation, I have the power to create my world and prioritize the projects that I desire. As I continue to take action, my joy and fulfillment expand. And the next card is the mystical shaman oil card and out came fire. And fire comes as the essence consuming anything that it touches. The flames remind us of the impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or into chaos. Fire is passion and its dancing flames invite us to reach to the sky. Warmth and light are heavenly, yet too much heat can scorch us. To fully step into the energy of fire is to be utterly transformed like the phoenix rising from the ashes. The invitation here is to warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain and your sorrow. Has life become too rigid, too cold or too superficial? Light a candle or make a bonfire and toss into the flames everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation and set your life on fire. The medicine here is ask yourself, are you feeling too fiery? 
have you been reactive and short-tempered toward others? This card has come to tell you that all fiery emotions directed at others can backfire at you. It is not a good idea to play with fire when you are out of balance or angry. Now is not a time to act or to react. It is time to tame and befriend your inner fire so it does not scorch you. And the last card is the Sacred Forest Oracle card. And out came Earth's Spirit. And Earth's Spirit is about stability. In the lazy quietude of a warm summer afternoon, you recline on the soft moss on the forest floor and listen to the heartbeat of the earth. Her rhythmic cadence surges up from the ground beneath you. With each beat, you remember who you are and what is truly important in life. The strengthening, grounding energy of the earth is filling every part of you. It is time to take measure of your life and put your roots down. Assess who you are and where you are. Make plans for the future, but do not act on those plans until you feel secure in stepping forward. This is the time of preparation and going deeper. This card can also indicate that you aren't grounded and you need to create more stability in your life. Think things through before you take any action. Take time to plan your future carefully. Do not rush into anything. Strength is growing within you. Security and protection surround you and you are safe. So if you are thinking of making secure financial investments and receive this card, it is telling you that this is a good time to do so, but it's not a time to take any risks. The earth spirit provides the trees, plants, flowers, rivers, streams, oceans, mountains and valleys and supports us all with her bounty. The earth is stable and strong in her devotion to us. So you are supported and loved even if you are not always sure of it. The seeds that you plant now will bring abundance in the future but only if you take the time to nurture those new beginnings. The spirit of the earth says, be present in the moment, slow down and let go of the busyness and frantic pace of life. Explore your roots, honor your past, go deep and reflect on your life. So, Gemini, that was your reading. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a great week ahead. Take care and goodbye.